before I say anything else, I want some grits. I do, and I know that's random, but I do. I want some grits. And let me tell you how bad I want some grits. I don't care if it's salt or sugar. I'm not even claiming a crew. I'm claiming team grits. Now, real talk, I don't know if something's going on with me. I would love savory right now. Savory. Like shrimp and grits. And a good shrimp sauce with a little spice and a little pepper, a little... <sighs> but that's not why you guys tuned in. And I know. So I am talking today because I am telling you one of my big first world problems here I'm having on the continent, at least in Rwanda. And I'm going to totally be in my zone. Fellas, especially like all you fellas. Especially like all you fellas who manage to live like in a one bedroom apartment like in your 20s and you had like a big giant television but you had like all these DVDs you had all these games and you had like a sofa and you had no decoration on the wall except for a Scarface poster y'all don't need to listen to this video because you have no sense about the value of decor not decoration decor do you see how i said decor that is something that is real like quiet is kept real talk conversation about me it's like every time i move um i first have to put up paintings don't care where the refrigerator goes don't care where this like literally have to put up the paintings first and get the motifs of each room correct that's a real word the theme the thematic and we go into the bathroom is it going to be a nautica feel is it going to be a sunrise or sunset those two differences or those colors are we going for more of a indigo um you know like so i'm talking to people who can understand there's a difference between the color pink and salmon 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 whatever but those are different colors like i'm talking to people who understands there's 28 different shades of pink like that's the people i'm talking to right now because i'm going to go through my first world problems and i need somebody to understand my pain so one of the things i'm going to address this question because one of the things that a lot of people talk about is like oh sheets and towels and i'm conflicted on giving advice about sheets and towels because the key question is, is oh can you find sheets yes you can find sheets you definitely can find sheets out here what you cannot find are fitted sheets and then so all y'all gonna be like oh my god how can you not find fitted sheets oh my god what are you gonna do um we are also the same country that uses the i don't even know what you call it but we use inches feet yards with the rest of the world uses the metric system. So just because we don't understand something doesn't mean something's wrong with the cousin. Family. Let's talk. Are you a member of my cousin connection? If you're not, let's talk about that for real. If you're looking at Rwanda, whether to visit, whether to relocate, or even if you're just curious, you go to mycousinconnection.com. Now for a simple $5 membership, and yes, there is a membership, we can give you all the information you need. Now, when I talk about all the information, of course, I can say the articles and this and that. Let me tell you how we have every single announcement about COVID regulations posted and ready to go. We have information about your neighborhoods. We talk about your VPN services, post office, how to do almost anything and how to just get adjusted to Rwanda. It's all in my cousin connection. 
And then not only that, once you're in the group, you have the ability to contact me or even Emmanuel and we can post all more articles. We can tell you about buying land. We can do so much more. All you need to do is have access. Trust me, there are so many questions that you have. We've already answered, but you gotta be a member. My Cousin Connection, $5 a month. That's it, starting out. I want to see you there. In fact, I'm going to see you there, all right? Arts with the rest of the world uses the metric system. So just because we don't understand something doesn't mean something's wrong with the rest of the world. Mm, might be us. Might be us. So fitted sheets is a thing. Um, out here is not a thing. So I'm going to go first with like the mattresses, not mattresses, the like... Um, the sheets situation all that other stuff. So the very first thing is when people ask um, They're gonna be like well, I'm gonna bring my feet at sheets. I'm gonna come over So there you get into a small little technical not a bad technical, but a small little technical One of the small technicals is that out here and this happened to me in Dubai. We say twin full king and queen Things are not known as relevant or prevalent in that way. Like things are known by the actual measurements. Like this is the first time somebody was like, oh, are you in a 24 by, you know, 100? I was like, well, what you talking about? And they're like, no, 24 by 100. Like I literally had to go and measure out my bed because I just did not know what 24 by 100. And that's, I'm just making those up. But what that was, like inches is real out here. Yes, they are, baby. Um... But the measurement and size, size does count, um, is real out here. So when you go into your sheets, one of the things that I've noticed is that I really don't see twin sheets, full sheets, queen or king. Like everything's sheets. And that's actually fine because the people, like all the house help, everybody knows how to tuck a sheet. Like it's not even a thing. I don't go out shopping for twin sheets. Like that is more of a headache. So you would probably find that kind of stuff when you're going to your T2000, when you're going to your DMAC, when you're going to your um, store stores. Like, oh, I'm, I'm doing something today. Like when you're going with a full purse. Like when you're shopping in heels, like you're going to those type of places. I shop in sneakers because I'm in the streets, dog. Like that's how I shop. I'm shopping straight up in tennis shoes. I tried to shop one time in sandals, nearly died. Didn't work, almost slid down a hill. Um, but that's how I shop. I shop market, I shop town, I shop in the streets with my sneakers. Um, so if you're gonna shop in heels and be dressed all cute, looking like Gucci store or whatever, you're probably gonna find what you need for sheets. And you're gonna probably pay the price because that kind of lifestyle is a little bit more expensive. So, when we go into sheets and I sit there and say, if you're looking for a certain type of quality, bring your own sheets. If you must, by the grace of the gods and the earth and the heavens, have a fitted sheet, bring your own fitted sheet. I still say no against that because what are you gonna do once some sheets wear out? Are you flying all the way back to the States to get more sheets? You're going to have them sheets shipped over. You're going to make sure that somebody who's bringing luggage is bringing you more sheets. Number one, number two. Like, you got to think about the return factor. Like, what happens when you finish using your sheets? Because I hope you're changing your sheets. If not, we're going to have a talk. So, the other piece of it is, is that in my house, we really have to do three sheets per bedroom. And that's the cycle that goes through because um, they're cleaning and washing stuff all the time. And so you might have something on the line and you still need something on the bed. So there is a rotation of three sheets. So see how this is now packing up into your suitcase, like a three sheet rotation per bed, per bedroom, right? Because you're not dealing with dryers. You're having everything air dry for a reason. Um, and then what was the other thing? Um, oh, and because of that, it wears out. So if you had a fitted sheet, unless you got that good, strong, fat Albert elastic, you know how fat Albert wore the pants, the fat Albert elastic that can stretch and come back, stretch and come back. You're gonna wear out your fitted sheet. So you're gonna have to be careful that you're getting a more premium fitted sheet than just regular, cause that elastic, baby, let me do this here. That elastic, it's gonna be like bounce, 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 sag, sag. Like elastic on Thanksgiving, you know it only holds for a certain amount of time, right? So, this is the first thing I say. Hack one, if your sheets must be fitted, do not try to buy fitted sheets and come over. Get your 
your sheet straps. And if you don't know, just go to um, Amazon.com and you can have sheet straps and they will actually pull and give you that tug that you're looking for in your sheets. And so you can have that here. I actually like, um, these are the bootleg kind. There's the kind that does like a big X or big T. Them bad boys can do some damage. I love them. And so I would get the sheet straps and I'm just gonna let you know, you see how our sheet straps are still in the box. We've had these now for three months. Shout out to Vita at Awesome Games. I think she's the one that brought them to me. And go to Awesome Games, it's so fun. My staff don't know how to use them, so we have to sit there and train them on how to use the sheet straps. But honestly, they, look, they, 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 they hustle so strong that they hit that and tuck. Um, we be feeling like pigs in a blanket when we go to bed. Like, we have to fight like that to get into the sheets like so they don't need the sheet strap game we thought so but mm -mm, they didn't and so that's the very first thing i would say with sheets it's like really really think that out number two with mattresses um we talk about the inches like you can get your mattresses custom made so they can be different sizes they don't always fall into your natural size and the custom made is not expensive at all it's very natural so if you're coming in for a furnished um, house or location it could be that the bed is a natural size um, which is your natural dimensions and I don't have them memorized right now or it could be in my case that they were custom and so that's the other reason why I like just getting the sheets out here and not having it fitted and just having them tucked just like Botox just tuck it to where you need it to be you just tuck it into where it needs to be like there's nothing wrong with a tuck just got to get out your mindset we're used to having things pre-tucked hence fit it just tuck it yourself get tuck it suck it go suck it in all right <laughs> so that's just to break down like the sheet game and the mattress game a little bit the bigger stress i had coming out here for me was freaking matching still the stress like if I'll just be honest with you, like, I'm trying to say, like, if my bedroom has a certain color, well, obviously that's the accent color, and I need to have sheets that blend in with that color, and that means I have to have three sheets that blend in with that color. What about the pillows? What about the, um, furniture? Like, it's all, like, the paintings, like, right now, to be honest with you, the painting in my room, I freaking love, and it doesn't match, and so it stresses me out, and I'm going to probably have another painting made when I get time. Um, but I say that because when you're going through, like I said, I'm in town, I'm fighting through whatever, whatever. And, um, it was so hard for me to find three sets of sheets that all went with each other and carried the motif. Like that was an all day ordeal, like five different shops. And then I found myself sometimes compromising on color. <laughs> like, whoo, there's some color schemes I'm working with that are very new to me. But I'm also here with my solution. So the solution for me was after a certain time, like, I'll just give you this one. I have like a room that is purple. Y'all, what am I supposed to do with a purple room? I am not hosting the bras. Anybody who went to HBCU knows um, exactly what I mean. Like, I'm not getting a bunch of Crown Royal bags and making pillowcases out of them and having an ode to the Omega oil in the room. Like, we're not doing that. And then I am not a pink girl. Ah, I can't deal with pink. Um, so that was like really, really hard. So in creating that space, you're having to find sheets now that go with this color. And you're having to find a comforter that goes with this color. And that was like absolutely headache. So, solution. You see this? Do you see the fabric? Yes. So, I turned around and what we've started doing around the house a lot is not going shopping for sheets. Going shopping for fabrics. And utilizing our fabrics in such a way that it pulls together. Our, oh, would I do that? No, because the blue and the black. I'm telling you, my little females know. But I would do. Ooh, that's cute, but I don't want darkness on the outside. I'm telling you, this is what goes on in my mind. Pray for my staff. Um, but using, using the fabrics to really pull in that 
peace because if you're going to sit there and fight for sheets or fight for all of that other stuff, it's not going to work. You're going to have to change your um, aesthetic just a bit um, to open up with a lot more patterns, a lot more fluidity, um, a lot more of those things. But it can be so freaking gorgeous, y'all. Like my living room, my bedroom, it's gorgeous. So what I do now is I look for fabrics and then I purchase... And it is still hard to find solid color sheets or comforters. You still are hunting, but I do that or I'll do a off pattern. So like with this one, um, there was these comforters that were like white with black. And so I was able to do that and then fold this in there. And then I have another room that's like a bamboo brownish field. So I used these two colors together. Um, and did a lot more wooding. So I would turn around and get like a regular sheet, regular that, and then you use this in your accent. We have made, made pillowcases utilizing this. We have made um, pillow covers that utilize this. Um, is it Dove's? Like the Dove. So we actually get the big, big comforter, but then we turn around and create this to go around it to bring in those colors or we just turn around and do a strap here mommy design j essence designs too so we design a lot here um and we do a strap here to go for the footer of the bed um we might utilize some fabrics to go around a vase vast vase or whatever to turn around and do that and then you really can create the space that you want and feel that you want if you really open up your mind to get creative in the spaces that we are and so that's why I wanted to come on and talk about like the mattresses and the sheets and all that stuff because y'all don't understand the dungeons I went through to find the fabrics but baby I found them we pull them and do that and then also um, we have our sets and changes so it changes up the room it changes up that look as long as we have like that color pattern we're used to um, I'm trying to get you the blues see here this is another one I haven't used this one yet um I was debating between this and like a really bomb jumpsuit or I was gonna do like something like a lot more casual if you guys have ever seen my hoodies um but you know what? I would do this with a blue jean a blue jean oh that'd be tight blue jean arms a strip strip and then a hoodie oh, that would be hot if I did that um so Getting back to just the ability to open up yourself creatively um, with that because um, you're not going to walk into, and I kind of missed that, so shout outs, um, libations to Bed Bath & Beyond. Y'all don't understand, like when you walk in and the towel section that cascades up like three flights and it's like every single color towel you've ever seen. I miss those moments sincerely. I miss matching. But I get to create, so I don't miss it all the way. I should actually show you what my mom did with the towels. Maybe one day we'll go through a whole mommy designs things because we are creating. Like we'll take a towel, white towel, and then we'll put a strip, like cut it, strip, and then put it in and then put it in the bathroom and then we officially have bathroom towels don't you come to my house and wash your hands on my bathroom towels you know how hard it is for me to get that together you, we got extra little raggedy towels where you wipe your hands on man we did some designing in this house so um and we still are so that's really a breakdown um don't forget about if you want your mattresses to be fitted get from your sheet straps um and then it's not hard like i said it's not impossible what if you cannot compromise on the quality like if you have to be like 3000 egyptian cotton bring your stuff i have not seen slick bed sheets y'all know how back in the day like you didn't like you had silk and you just slid off the bed y'all act like y'all ain't never slid i see you know um so i would say if you're fighting over the quality of your bed sheets and like for those people who do weighted blankets like that's not here um, but you have to remember that stuff takes up space in your suitcase, so you have to know what you want and what you don't want. But just finding sheets 
Especially, let me be honest with you. If you have kids, if you don't get them some of these little $20 raggedy sheets, because you know they're going to mess them up in about four or five months anyway, and they be all right, give them a motif, give them a little fabric, make them feel cute, put it on their bed. Mm, that's a day. That's all it is. It's a day. That's what it is. All right, so this is your girl, Jay Essence, giving you a little bit on the journey, also talking about now and keep on following, really digging into sustainable living, um, sustainable freedom. So trying to get into that conversation a lot more. Check me out if you have consultation. Come email me if you relocate to Rwanda courses, which you've already seen, uh, My Cousin Connection, all of that stuff. If not anything, subscribe and like, dude. Subscribe and like, which I should have said at the beginning. I'm getting better at this, I promise you. Peace.